everyone, Justine here from Justine's Paper Crafting Tutorials. Today we're going to be making this adorable monster party card featuring a beta card stamp, an invite into the Mojo Monday challenge, as well as the Simon Says Stamp Anything Goes challenge. We're going to start off with a piece of our black card base. It's three and a half by six inches, and the theme for Mojo Monday this week is tall and skinny. So that's why I chose to make it that dimension. I cut out a bunch of things from the Cricut and the Cricut Explore and actually these are all free images that come out with the Cricut Explorer and they're really basic so you probably have a die or you have a Cricut cartridge that already has these on there and it's going to be really easy to create. So I'm just going to glue everything down and start off with my card base and then build up slowly to the stamping. So I'm attaching a piece of white cardstock onto my card. It's just cut a slightly smaller than my card base. I took one of my banners and I just cut it down so I get two different banner lengths. Attached this black piece of cardstock, attached my banners, and then I was ready to start stamping on that white circle. Alright, so today I'm using the Monster Party stamp set from Create a Smile Stamps. These are absolutely adorable little monster stamps. They all have their sort of hands out so they can hold the different objects in the stamp set so you can create some really cool um, scenes. And I'm going to use this sort of this monster here and I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I'm going to be coloring or stamping this with memento black ink because I'm going to be using Copic markers. Alright so I colored in my monster I used BG15 and some reds. I apologize, my camera must have turned off while I was recording that and he ends up being magically colored now. I didn't do any specific shading or anything like that, so I just really colored him in so you weren't missing any sort of Copic techniques. And the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to create some sort of um, background for him. I found that that was too, mm, the white was just too little for the, for the card and it blended in and it didn't stand out. While I complicated what I was going to do about that situation, I decided to stamp my sentiment in slate ink from close to my heart. I wanted to bring out the sort of grey khaki colour in the, in the pattern paper and tie that colour into the card as well. So I tied in the red from the pattern paper with his horns, I tied in the turquoise colour with his body, and then I wanted to bring out that, um, the white is obviously the card base or the card front, and then I wanted to bring out that grey as well. So I always kind of look at my pattern paper and see what colours I should work with. So this stamp is uh, How Old, That's Scary. I thought it was kind of cute with the monster. And I think monsters are really trendy at the moment. I've noticed quite a few stamping companies that have actually come out with them. So I'm just going to attach this also to a red background. I put some a red marker around the edge to try and get it to stand out a little bit more, but it got lost. And so I was really happy that I cut out a red circle to add him on. I thought that just made him pop out a little bit more. I just added some 3D dots to the back of him there to, again, just make it pop a little bit more and the monster to really stick out on the page. Remove those and then attach it to my card. I put it sort of a little bit lopsided just to give it a little extra something and make it a little more fun. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some pearls. Um, I decided to color them with my Copic markers that I used on the actual monster. I did some in blue and I did some in red, but I ended up only using the blue ones anyway. Alright, so I just colored those in. You can use any alcohol markers with the pearls or with sparkles or anything and you can just color them. So lately I've just been buying clear sparkles and um, normal pearls because really you can color them any color with your Copic markers and you don't have to spend money on getting different color things. So I thought that was a really cool idea. Alright, so I added the three there to make it sort of a little bit of a triangle and make it appealing to the eye. And that is my finished card. I hope you like it. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and be sure to click the subscribe to see more.